everyone this is rajkiran sahir and today we are going to start with a new subject called as ssd so let's start with the introduction first the name of the subject is ssd that is social studies there are total 3 sub subjects in ssd they are history civics and geography history is an account of the events that have taken place in the past there are stories about how ancient people lived and what did they do civics is nothing but the study of persons rights the duties as a citizen here you will learn about the government the laws the rules and the regulations about the human rights etc geography is the science of earth surface its atmosphere and its features geography informs us about our planet and the world we live in we learn about different places the continents and countries as well as the oceans rivers deserts or mountains on our planet students for your kind information you have been started learning about social studies since you were in your uh, pre primary how and when that i will be elaborating you once we reach that particular topic okay so let's start with geography as a sub subject The first topic of geography is the earth in the solar system. We have subtopics in this as first is celestial bodies. There are sun, the moon, the stars, the constellations, the pole star and the planets. Second subtopic is the solar system in which we have the sun, the planets, the earth, the moon, the asteroids, the meteoroids, etc. Now let me first introduce you with the first topic what exactly the meaning of the earth in the solar system means that means the location of the earth in the solar system that is the address of the earth in the solar system as we have uh, our own home address in a locality or in a city or in the state or in india in the same way earth is also having a specific address in the solar system so when the astronomers wants to study about any planet they first locate that particular planet at a specific location and then they start studying it uh, in geography okay now what does uh, solar means solar that is sol means sun god this particular term is related to the roman mythology so as per roman mythology sol means sun god and solar means it is related to the sun okay that means the family of the sun so the family members of the sun is nothing but the planets what we are having and sun is the head of the family for example in our family too we have the head of the family and we as the family members are the Uh, are related to this particular head so in the same way we have this solar system system because um, in solar system basically nothing changes the rotation the revolutions the stars the planets etc whichever are present in the solar system they have a specific time and specific duration okay and rarely they change that is the reason why it is called as system fine now uh, the beautiful sky after sunset students if you have observed the sky after sunset it's really fascinating many people take night sky watching as a hobby you will see stars rising in ones or twos growing in millions by the midnight and twinkling surprisingly some stars don't twinkle they simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines about moon we have different phases of moon which we see into the sky these are the different shades the moon is getting due to the shadow which is falling on the moon the two main phases of moon are the full moon night that is purnima and the new moon night that is amavasya now here the full moon night and new moon night are the two terms which are given by the astronomers for this phenomenon and purnima and amavasya 
are the same terms but we have derived it in the in as per the indian uh, indian geographical terms okay now what is full moon night full moon night is visible only once in a month rest all the days the moon appears at different times in different shapes and at different positions okay new moon night that is amavasya a fortnight after the full moon night the moon is not visible at all this is called as new moon night this is the best opportunity for sky watching if it is clear what what is meaning of fortnight the unit of time equal to 14 days or 2 weeks is called as fortnight so students if you are interested into sky watching if you have a telescope with you so the best way to watch the sky is during the amavasya time only the thing is that you need to make sure that the sky is totally clear okay here i have shared a photo of new moon and full moon to the left side as you can see is the full moon and to the right side you can see the new moon the purnima and amavasya these are the two phases of moon which takes place after every 15 days now what is mean by celestial bodies the sun the moon and all those bright tiny object shining in the night sky are called as celestial bodies we can't see them during the time because the very bright sunlight doesn't allow us to see them the most important celestial body is stars now students initially as i have told you that you have been learning your sst from your pre primary itself okay so do you remember when have you heard about this particular word stars yeah yes do you remember a poem called as twinkle twinkle little star fine same it is so you have started learning about the stars when you were in your lower grades okay so most probably we can say in play group when initial poems are been taught to you in that you have learned stars and stars twinkle so is the phenomenon of the stars and now we are elaborating this particular topic the celestial body which are very big and hot made of gases have their own heat and light been emitted in large amount are called as stars and students the amazing fact is the sun is a star okay countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun but we don't feel their heat or light and they look so tiny because they are extremely far away from us so students as you can see the stars in the sky in the space okay they are very much big so big that the size of each and every uh, star differs some of the stars are very big than the sun and some of the stars are very small than the sun they appear to be very small because they are very far away from us millions of kilometers far away from us okay so regarding uh, the star size comparison i have a very beautiful video for you that i will be sharing in the google classroom kindly go through this particular video and my suggestion is kindly show it to your parents so that each and every question about the size of the stars or the location of the earth and where we are in the space will be totally cleared okay the most beautiful video of geography which i like yeah this is the picture of the solar system and the celestial bodies what we have here you can see different uh, planets you can see asteroids you can see moon the sun the black hole the comet the galaxy so beautiful so celestial bodies we are having in the solar system this is only a part of our solar system okay fine next topic is constellations now students have you ever tried one particular activity uh you must be doing that you draw some dots on the piece of paper and then you start joining those dots and you get a particular picture 
or might be accidentally you can you must have got some other pictures also while you are you are drawing one one such okay such is constellations we have uh, various patterns formed by different groups of stars in the night sky are called as constellations we have uh, our mobile phone pattern lock unlock pattern so we draw certain images or we join those particular dots to unlock the phone same is with constellations so we have example as a uh, some major that we called as big bear we have saptarishi that is seven sages now saptarishi is an indian geographical term again is one of the most easily recognizable constellations it is a group of seven stars and forms a part of large ursa major constellation you can try to search for more stars planets and constellations in the sky and students if you find one such constellations uh, which you can form in the night sky you can inform it to the astronomical the international astronomical union so that that particular constellation uh, the discovery of the constellation will be named uh, after you okay the second the second celestial body is the pole star it is named so that because it lies directly overhead when viewed from the earth's north pole or the south pole now students pole star is an amazing star there are many such amazing facts about the pole star okay whenever you see a pole star it is first of all very bright the brightest star in the uh, in the amongst all the stars what we have in the space okay wherever you see pole star that always indicates the north pole itself fine so ancient people used to determine the directions during the night time with the help of the stars the north star indicated the north direction that means if you see a pole star uh then during ancient time the people those used to travel they used to see the pole star and if they want to move towards the north side they used to go in the direction of the pole star itself if they wish to go to the east east side then they used to see the uh, pole star and they used to move towards the right side direction during the night time okay it is uh, one of the stable star and always remains at the same position in the sky so students if you are confused about how to locate a pole star in the space it is one um, easy practice for you locate all the stars for example at 7 o'clock if you see all the stars which are above your head okay just locate all the positions of the stars whichever you can see uh, you you might find a bright star amongst that particular star too fine and after one and a half hour or two hours you can come back and you can see the positions of the stars again so you might be able to see that the bright star has not moved from the place and here all the other stars have moved from the place okay so this is one identification of the pole star what you can do it does not move from the place okay how to locate the pole star easily so the as i have told you one constellation that is saptarishi that is seven sages so if we succeed in finding saptarishi it will help us to locate the pole star easily fine yeah this is one of the beautiful image of some of the constellations presents present we have the boots we have corona borealis we have hercules we have ursa minor we have draco we have vega we have uh, perseus we have capella we have ursa major ursa minor okay these are some of the beautiful constellations which are present students one amazing fact is two years before there was one set of new constellations which was discovered by the international astronomical union the amazing fact about these constellations are all these constellations are named as per some legendary people in the world for example we have harry potter as a constellation we have yusuf azim alala as a constellation we have um, uh, usain bolt as a constellation 
okay so these are some of the constellations which are named after the legends what we have if so you can search on google you can go through internet and just check out whether you can find latest names of the constellations which are present fine yeah this is one of the image of the pole star we also call pole star as dhruvatara this is one of the indian geographical term what we are having fine about the planets what are planets the celestial bodies that do not have their own light and heat and are lit up by the light of the stars are called as planets okay so earth is a planet and we are getting light from the sun fine so we are a celestial body which do not get the light and uh, heat of our own but we get it from the sun itself okay now how does the planet got its name as planet why is it not called as watermelon why is it not called as apple why is it called as planet so the word planet is derived from the greek word planitia which means wanderers so as i told you that many of the celestial bodies or many important things in the world are been named as per the greek and the roman mythology so is the word planet given the name so in greek the name planet is nothing but planitia which means wanderers now wanderer means the planets that are revolving around the sun okay so they are wandering around the sun and that is the reason why they are called as planets our earth is a planet and gets all its heat and light from the sun which is the nearest star to the earth our earth will appear just as the moon from a great distance if we look at it from the sky the moon is a satellite of the earth and it moves around it now here the moon is a natural satellite of the earth it is not an artificial satellite so there are two types of satellites we are having one is natural satellite and another is the artificial satellite okay there are total eight planets in our earth and uh, they totally take the light and heat from the sun some of them have their moons like earth etc okay some planets don't have moons and some planets have many moons like earth if they if we have only one moon likewise many other planets are there they have 13 moons or maybe some of the moons which are not yet discovered but they have their own moons with all these planets what we are having okay now students okay here is the picture of the planets as you can see the sun as the head of the family in the solar system and we have total eight planets revolving around the sun there are total four planets which are small in size they are near to the sun there are big planets which are away from the sun okay so here you can see the size of the planets the texture the color of the planets what we are having fine yeah so students today we are concluding with our topic for the day what you have to do is i will be sending you one reference video in the google classroom as i told you the name of the video is the star size comparison you have to see this video and related to this video the your queries regarding the solar system or the milky way all will be cleared i will be sending you one small assignment and few questions that you have to solve in your book and this you have to present whenever our school starts okay so thank you for today and it was good interacting with you explaining some of the topics related to the solar system in the next session we are going to start with other topics of geography okay so be ready and thank you thanks a lot